Welcome to your partner still loves you, so don't overthink it. One of the biggest challenges I see in relationships is that we start interpreting something that our partner does or doesn't do, something they say or they don't say. Let me give you an example. Let's say that your partner's sitting on the couch and you come up next and you kind of cozy up in the way that you do. And your partner gets up and walks away. You're like, what the heck? And your brain starts thinking, are they mad? And then your brain starts going bonkers. Shoot, are they offended? Are they annoyed? Did I do something wrong? What's happening? Why are they mad at me? That's why it's so important to stop your mind from running. So let me ask you something. Have you ever been sitting on the couch and had your dog or your cat just randomly get up and move? Or have you ever had an animal just walk away from you just because they didn't feel like being touched right then? Do you love that animal any less? Do you think that animal loves you any less? Heck, half the time we love our animals more because they're snarky and they get up and they walk away. So why would we treat our human companions any different? Am I right? And you definitely, with your partner, don't want to be like a little kid, right? That comes to the house and is like, Kitty! Kitty! And comes chasing after. Nobody wants to be that person to their partner. So now imagine instead that you just sit down on the couch and your partner gets up and goes away. And instead of your mind going on and on and on about what's going on and what's wrong, you feel calm and you feel peaceful and you feel centered. Wouldn't that be great? You're trusting that they are doing what they need to do for themselves in the moment. And won't you feel better about yourself? Now you're not taking it personally. And now it's not your own ego or your own mind getting in the way. So in order to make this happen, the first thing I recommend is to stop assuming you know what your partner is doing and why. Second, tune in. What is it that you really want and need? Like, do you want to sit and snuggle on the couch with your partner? Did you actually ask them to do that? Do they even know that's what you want? And what's coming from inside of you? Maybe you're still a little tender over a fight. Or maybe you really want a little extra attention because it's been a hard day at work. And you haven't communicated that. Maybe your partner's having the same day too where they're hoping that you're going to come over and give them attention. Maybe you're misinterpreting and thinking that their affection is only going to lead towards sex or something. And you're not really clearly communicating. So clearly ask for what you want and what you need. So this could sound like, hey honey, I'm feeling like I need another hug or I'm feeling like I need a extra snuggle tonight. Are you willing or will you do that for me? Because think about how great this is. So first of all, no one can refute how you feel. So if you say, here's what I'm feeling, and then asking them if they're able to give you what you want and what you need. I mean, obviously they still have free choice, right? I know some women after, after kids, no matter how much their husbands ask, they just cannot have any more touch, right? But it's important to communicate that then as well. But at least start the dialogue and start the conversation. So imagine now, instead of just freaking out, and starting to judge yourself and judge your relationship and judge your partner and say, God, does my partner still love me? Maybe they don't love me anymore. Maybe they think I'm ugly. Maybe they think I'm stupid. God, that fight we had the other day, maybe they're still mad at me. Are they still mad at me? Maybe I'm still mad at him. Actually, I can't believe I am still mad. Right? And your mind just goes on and on and on. And next thing you know, you're down this rabbit hole of just destruction about your relationship. And all of a sudden, just Someone standing up and walking away from the couch turns into this big deal that then carries on through the energy of the rest of the evening. Nobody wants that, right? So now the next time your cat, your dog, or your partner stand up and walk away from you, just know that they're doing the best they can for themselves. Number two, ask for what you want and what you need as clearly as you can. 
Hey, I'm feeling X. Will you please, are you able to give this to me? I'm Dawn Bennett. I'm an emotional freedom techniques practitioner and relationship coach. And I love talking about nature and the nature of relationships. So stay tuned for more information. And I'd love to hear from you. Joining you from Minnesota this time around. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.